Wondering if buying organic food is necessary? Not sure what organic foods to buy? Do you avoid organic food altogether due to the cost? Try this simple approach to buying organic foods to reap the health benefits and save money. Interested in tips and tricks to get healthy, save money, and feel better? Join us in my free Facebook community, Healthy Habits for Busy Women. This is the place to connect, learn, and share with other mamas on their health journey just like you. Join the Healthy Habits for Busy Women community and get in on the fun. See you there. Hey, Busy Mama. Are you overwhelmed trying to get healthy and eliminate chronic pain for good? Does being a busy mom leave you exhausted so you put your health goals on the back burner? Have you given up on every diet and exercise program leading you right back to your unhealthy habits? Hi friend, I'm Ashley Cavolo, a busy working mom who struggled to manage debilitating chronic pain. I desperately wanted to feel better and be the best mom that I could be, but I didn't know how to start and had nowhere to turn. Until the day, I decided the pain would no longer control my life. I discovered health and wellness can be simple, maintainable, and heal chronic pain. In this podcast, I will share tips and strategies to help you instill healthy habits, find more energy, and manage your chronic pain. Grab your notebook, that cup of matcha, and get ready to look at getting healthy in a whole new way. Welcome back. So you may be asking yourself, what does organic actually mean? Organic simply means produce is grown without pesticides and farmers choose natural processes that have been used for hundreds of years to improve soil and crop quality. Pesticides are used to prevent disease, deter insects, and increase the longevity of produce. And in addition, many foods today are now GMO or genetically modified, meaning they were modified in a lab to increase shelf life, improve taste, appearance, and deter disease and insects. But unfortunately, pesticides and GMO foods are linked to increased inflammation, diseases such as cancer and dementia, allergies, organ damage, anxiety, and birth defects, just to name a few. Sadly, there are hundreds of pesticides and non-GMO foods banned in other countries, yet they are not regulated here in the U.S. So this means we need to be diligent when making food choices for our own health and well-being. So you may be asking yourself, should I be eating organic? And the answer is yes. However, there is a misconception that everything you buy should be organic. Most produce is safest when organic. However, there is non-organic produce that is safe to eat. So I will get into my trick to helping you simplify these choices in just a minute. First, I do want to recommend that you check out the environmental working groups Dirty Dozen and Clean 15 list. This group is also known as EWG. You may have heard of them before. The Dirty Dozen lists the top 12 produce most affected by pesticides that should be purchased organic. And the Clean 15 lists produce that is safe to buy non-organic. So I'll include the links in the show notes so you can go check those out. I highly recommend it. It's really informational. So now let's get on to why we're here. So my simple hack to choosing organic and non-organic produce. In order to get to that, we first need to break down a few items from the Dirty Dozen list and the Clean 15 list so you can differentiate from one and the other. So the first two items on the Dirty Dozen list are strawberries and spinach. The first two items on the Clean 15 list are avocados and corn. So think about how these four items are grown. Do you notice a difference between the strawberries and spinach versus the avocados and corn? So the first two do not have a skin or a husk, which means they are not protected from pesticides. So when you eat strawberry or spinach leaves, there is nothing to peel away. You are simply washing and eating them as they are. Unlike avocados and corn, which are grown in a peel and a husk, protecting what is inside from the pesticides. So here's the hack. You are in the grocery store. You're looking at fruits and vegetables. Think about how they are grown and think about how you eat them. So does it have a protective peel? Think about bananas and onions. Yes, they have a protective peel. So this should be safe to buy non-organic. Do you wash it and eat it as is? 
think, berries, and lettuce. So you are better off buying those options organic. So here are a few examples of the foods I buy organic versus non-organic. I always buy organic berries, greens, apples, peaches, grapes, peppers, zucchini, and cucumbers. And non-organic, I buy avocados, onions, kiwi, melon, watermelon, lemons, and limes. So if you look at those two lists and compare them, it's pretty obvious to see the non-organic options have a peel or some protective layer. So when you are shopping, just look at it that way. If it has a protective peel that you're peeling away, it's safe non-organic. If it's something you're going to wash and just eat, I always buy organic. Split it into those two groupings and it's a super simple way to determine if it should be organic or not. So here's a tip for you. Have you ever noticed stickers on produce that have a serial number listed? This differentiates the difference between organic and non-GMO foods from standard produce. Organic produce will have a five digit code that begins with the number nine, Non-GMO produce has a four digit code beginning with a number eight. So just be on the lookout for the codes that begin with eight and nine and know those are safe bets for you. And tip number two, plan your meals for the week ahead. Knowing what you are going to make for the week ahead will help you determine exactly what you need to buy. So you can actually look at your list and determine what you can buy organic and what you can buy non-organic. So stick to the shopping list to eliminate food waste and spending excess money. And lastly, the one thing I wanted to mention is there are a few exceptions that you should be aware of when it comes to organic and non-organic food. A few uh, foods that may be confusing on the safe list is carrots and potatoes. Many people eat these without peeling them. That's what I do. So why are they on the safe list? If you think about how carrots and potatoes are grown, they are grown in the ground. So this means the use of pesticides is limited compared to say a head of lettuce. So how do I choose organic versus non-organic? And to keep things simple, I follow my hack that I mentioned a few moments ago when choosing carrots and potatoes. I eat the skin for nutritional value, therefore I am going to choose the organic option if it is affordable. And in the case of potatoes and carrots, just make the choice that works for you and your budget. In many cases, both options are affordable. The cost may only vary by a few cents, so just do what, what works for you. Another note I wanted to make is when you choose organic produce, there is always a risk of pesticide contamination. If pesticides are used in the surrounding area of a farm, trace amounts can be found in water, soil, and air, so this will affect the nearby crops being grown organically. Many people believe choosing only organic options is the best way to limit our exposure to pesticides overall, but do what works for you. Which leads me into my last point, beginner overwhelm can be a lot. Beginning a new health routine can really feel overwhelming and I always stress starting slowly and making choices that fit into your life and your budget. If choosing organic foods in addition to trying to eat healthier is too much to bear in the beginning, start with standard produce. And as you develop your routine, you find recipes you lean on over and over again, you will eventually find it easy to pick up and choose the organic options that work for you. So don't let the idea of organic versus not organic foods deter you from making healthy choices. Step by step is always the best method. So to recap, Choosing organic foods can be simple and affordable. Always look for foods with a peel or husk that can be safely purchased as non-organic. Foods without a peel or husk are safest when organic. Look for produce barcode stickers that begin with nine for organic and eight for non-GMO options. And plan your meals for the week ahead to avoid excess spending. I hope this was informational and helped you in your health journey. I'll see you next week. Hey friend, I hope this episode helped you in your health journey. If you are inspired or motivated, please leave a five-star rating and written review in Apple Podcasts, or please share it with another mama who would be blessed by it. I'm off to make another matcha and whip up a healthy snack. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you next Thursday.